Hey my revival, so today your girl is making a veggie omelet. I'm gonna have mushrooms, peppers, onions, spinach, and I'm gonna be putting hash browns, which is a quicker way to make your omelet without having to wait for the potatoes. I'm gonna do blue cheese on my husband's, goat cheese on mine, and then yellow cheese on Rizzy's. I think Naya want goat cheese too, so yeah. I'm getting ready to show you how to make a bomb omelet, so let's get started. Did I say spinach, guys? So we got the spinach and we got the olive oil to grease our pan that is over there. So, yeah. Now, I'm chopping my onions, but you can definitely get bagged stuff if you like vegetables, like onions, peppers, and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I've ever seen mushrooms bagged, but it's up to you. I like to chop my own um, stuff, my own um, produce when I'm making my omelet. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. When cooking, always keep a bowl to throw your little um, trash or pieces that you're not using into. All right, everything is chopped up. I have my spinach rinsed off, and I'm going to chop this up inside the pan, so let's get over to the pan. All right, guys, so I have some oil that I'm putting in here. You want enough in there so that you can saute this stuff and cut that on like a medium heat. And then we're going to grab some garlic, crushed garlic. Gotta have that just a little bit to flavor. And we're gonna throw, as that after that gets hot, we're gonna throw all these in there. And then I'm gonna chop up with my kitchen shears, my spinach into there as well. You want this garlic to roast. So you're gonna let it do its thing. And that's gonna get all that garlic flavor out of the garlic and into the oil which is going to be where you saute your vegetables so you put those in next because you don't want them to be like hard and crunchy inside your um omelet some people like it like that but i prefer mine kind of soft in my omelet and this is a veggie omelet, so that's why I have a lot of veggies. And then, we're also going to put our hash brown. Very simple, very easy. Break it up with your hand. Break it up with your hand, just like that. That way it could be hash brown all through each omelet. Okay? And I'm making four omelets. Now we can season this mixture. And I want to be using pepper. Onion powder. Garlic. Parsley. Parsley, some thyme, and I want to use lorry seasoning for this actual omelet. So that's what I'm going to be using is my lorry seasoning, and I'm going to season that up really well. And that's about a good two teaspoons of that, and we're going to continue to saute it. We want this to get nice and tender. And let all these seasonings coat all of this mixture. This is going to be so good, guys. So, let me add a little bit more olive oil so we can fry this. And just a little bit, I'll add the um, spinach to it as well. But for right now, we want to try to get these onions and peppers and all that good stuff cooking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a top on this so that it cooks a little bit faster. So I got the right top? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to put a top on it so that the moisture and the sweat will help cook this a little bit faster. And... I will be back. 
I had a I had a call and it messed up my recording. All I did was kind of do this to the ones that were big. Look at I'm trying to record and people calling for appointments. So yeah, if they're really small, I'm just tossing them in there and I'm just frying it all together so these get tender and then it's done. I'm gonna set this to the side and then it's time to make the actual omelet. So yeah, now these hash browns always stick into the pan. I don't know why. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I don't use these no more, but I always try to keep this pan for my omelets because it does good with the actual omelet. So yeah, I don't want to overcook the spinach. That is done. We're going to set that to the side, get the eggs ready, and get this pan ready for the omelets. So basically, I took all the white stuff out of my egg. Let me close this. Take it in the light. And then I'm just going to scramble them. That's it. Now we're going to take the pan that's been clean, but you see the eggs just popped in it. <laughs> Put it on there, and we're going to get a nice amount of oil in here. Yes, because we do not want our omelet to stick, okay? We do not want it to stick. And we're going to have to heat up good. Get your goat cheese or whatever cheese that you're going to be using and have it ready, okay, y'all? Have it ready. Now, I think I want to do both cheeses on mine. I'll probably do both cheeses on mine and my hubby's. Um, and then for the kids, just do the other, other cheese. So yeah, you want that to get nice and hot. Then it'll be time to put the eggs in. All right, the key is to have your pan really hot. So we're gonna pour just a little because you're gonna roll this around to make your omelet. You do not need to fill the pan. Just cook. Fill this omelet. We're gonna put blue cheese on this one and put it down first, like that, just a little. And then we're going to put the filling down. Okay? We want to make sure we got a nice amount of filling on the side, like that. And then this is where I add this cheese. This helps the um, to stick together, the cheese does. And then it is time to flip her. So what you wanna do is grab your pan, you wanna get a good, good grip underneath and flip it over. And that is how you fold your omelet. omelet. <laughs> y'all, if y'all don't need nothing, get y'all some feta or blue cheese and make y'all veggie omelet. You will not be missing any meat. Now, I like to put on mine, I like to add some recording, some more of this in here on mine. And y'all know I love my black pepper, so I like to put that on mine as well. And then I'm going to use some fat and some goat cheese. So I got goat cheese here. I mean some blue cheese. Just a little. Because it's going to be strong cheese. I did have feta, but I just want blue cheese since I was making it. Open. 
This is a full one right here. So it's going to be more so an open face. So I'm going to pull it back like that. Let that cheese get back in. Get your butt back in there. Because I, I didn't want to waste the rest of the filling. So that's why mine is so thick. Um, but it's fine. So I'm going to cut this down really low. Really low. So my cheese can melt. And that is how I make my omelet. I'm lit. And I'm going to come back to you and cut mine open so you can see it. This is it. It is melted. It is done. And it is time to put it on my plate. Alright guys. So look at look at the inside everything is in there nice and good oh i can't wait to taste this is how i make my veggie omelet this is a gourmet omelet y'all y'all you gotta try goat cheese and blue cheese or either feta and goat cheese or whatever and put on your omelet. You will not miss the meat, I promise you. Let me get into this omelet so I can clean my kitchen and prepare for my client that's coming. I forgot my pepper. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next video. This was not all organized and set up. I just wanted to share the omelet because I did get a request for it. If this is not good enough, I probably won't post it, but we shall see. If you're new to my channel, make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can become a reviver. And if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I will see you guys.